Well, as you've seen in all of our videos, Tyler and I practically live in workout attire. But today's a special occasion and we're getting dressed up. Let's go catch a train. Let's go. We're in downtown Clarkdale, the historic area of the town, and this is where we will board the Verde Canyon Railroad. All aboard! Let's check it out. So part of our trip is beer tasting. So we're heading over to the bartenders to get our glass and our beer tasting. Let me see your cup. Wild. Ooh, almost good. Ales on rails. And it's not just ales. They did have cider, but we got here late by like two minutes and they're already sold out of cider. So I got the wild tonic goji rose kombucha, also gluten free. With your drink ticket, you're allotted four tastings. You can either do four different tastings or you can trade your ticket in for one full size cup of your choice of beer. Let's go find our train. So they told us we were like the second to last one. The caboose, I guess, is like super fancy, like five hundred dollars. That's like the catered bo bougie. The bougie lounge. If you yeah. want, you can get the caboose. We didn't get the caboose. However, we got the second to last one, but that was just by luck of the draw. We even even get access to the outdoor car. Welcome to the Santa Fe Bell. I feel like we're in like an old western movie. Like look at these. Dude, holy cow. There's a whole bar. Thank there you. you go. It's not the destination, but the journey that's important. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. The Verde Canyon is described as rugged with high desert rock faces and spectacular vistas. It is only accessible by rail. You might even say it's Arizona's other Grand Canyon. We chose the Ales on Rails tour during fall for leaf peeping season. But depending on the month you visit, they may have other options for adventures including an Easter Bunny Express, wine fest, or wine tasting with a starlight ride, as well as a magical Christmas journey during the month of December. If you get tired of exploring outside, you can return to your car for snacks or drinks from the bar. Just be careful not to tip over. Aside from the champagne toast at the beginning of the ride, oh, I'm hungry. you also get a complimentary charcuterie board as well to snack on during the ride. It's a complimentary charcuterie board. <laughs> the personal attendant for each car provides information on the canyon's history, geology, wildlife, and can answer any questions you may have. Going through the tunnel, everyone howled as we exit, and you can catch a glimpse of one of those rock formations now. Did you see it? It may be a howling wolf or a coyote, but I'm not sure on that one. The fall foliage was not quite at its peak, but as we neared the end of the canyon, we were able to take in a few more beautiful views from the outdoor car. When you reach the end of the line, the conductor moves the steam engine to the other side of the train to pull you back towards your starting destination. 
These are FP7 locomotives according to the Verde Canyon Railroad's website, and they are two of only 10 remaining in North America. These are the muscle that pulls the entire quarter mile length of the passenger cars. They were built in 1953, originally for the Alaskan Railroad, and debuted on the Verde Canyon in March 8th of 1997. The ride itself is about four hours, and it was one of the most relaxing yet enjoyable experiences we've had exploring here in Arizona. Hope you enjoy tagging along, and see you next week for our trip to Sedona. We are in the Red Rock country of Arizona for the weekend. We are only here for about two days, so come along with us as we cram as much as we can into 48 hours.